are some reasons you may want to modify your child support in Texas. Did you know that you can change that original order for the payment of child support, either to increase or decrease the amount of child support? My name is Laura Hurd, and I'm an attorney in San Antonio, Texas, who has helped many families with modifying the child support orders, both to increase and to decrease those orders since 1987. Let me tell you, there are several reasons that you might want to consider this. You know, in Texas, we have some specific laws about setting up child support, and it is generally calculated as a percentage of the income of the non-custodial parent, the parent who's paying the child support, who doesn't have primary custody. We don't take into consideration the income of the custodial parent, which sometimes is more than the non-custodial parent. And we don't take into consideration changes of income as they occur, because even though we calculate it as a percentage, once that percentage is calculated, they convert it into a dollar amount, and the order always has a dollar amount, not a percentage in it. So that dollar amount remains same regardless of the circumstances until you get a new court order. It doesn't matter if you've agreed with your former spouse or the parent of the child on what the new amount of child support will be. Until you actually get a judge to sign an order changing that amount, you're obligated under the old order and the attorney general is gonna enforce that old order. If you wanna change that, and you have an agreement with the other parent, it's a fairly simple process of filing the lawsuit, getting the other parent to sign a waiver and an agreed order, and entering that order and getting the judge to sign it, as long as both parents have signed it. But you still have to prove that it's in the best interest of the child. Either way, you cannot do it without filing a new lawsuit called a modification of child support. So what are some reasons that you might want to consider going to the trouble of filing a new lawsuit? Well, the most common one would be a change in income. Either the non-custodial parent has had a big increase in income and you want to increase the child support, or perhaps they've lost their job and they had a significant decrease and they don't think they're gonna be able to make the amount of income that they were making before. Perhaps there was a debilitating injury that occurred and that person can no longer work because they're disabled or they've retired or some other thing has affected their work so that now they cannot make the amount of money that they were making before. Those are the most common reason is the change of income of the paying parent. And another one would be a change of employment, which is related to the change of income. So whether you're wanting to increase or decrease child support, that's a reason to bring before the court. But there's several others. For instance, the age of the children. As children get older, their needs change and generally they get more expensive as they get older. You may have dance lessons and football and baseball and soccer and all kinds of club fees and uniform costs that you didn't have when they were toddlers. And now because of the increased cost, you want to increase the child support. Also, maybe a change in the educational needs of the child. Perhaps the child now needs special tutoring or private school that costs more money, and so you want to increase the child support. Other reasons could include a um, move of the residents. The parents now live further apart, and it's more expensive to travel so that you can have the visitation period. It may be you want to take that into consideration, the expense of travel to modify the child support. It could be that you need to have a change in child support because the non-custodial parent now has other children to support. If you have other children that you legally are obligated to support, that changes the percentage of the existing child's child support. It lowers the percentage. And so you want to recalculate the child support on the existing order to take into the account the new children that have been born to you. 
It could be that there's a custody change and that you actually have the non-custodial parent is now actually the custodial parent, but that hasn't been changed in the order. So you need to get a new order so that you can change the child support to reflect who's actually caring for the child as the primary custodial parent. So all these things come into play. It's important to hire an attorney to help you with this because you want the order to be written correctly. You want the order to be enforceable and you want the order to go as smoothly as possible in front of the judge, which means you're gonna to have to have documentation. You're gonna to have to know what kind of evidence is important to bring and what kind of evidence is admissible and have somebody who is persuasive to present that to the judge to get the judge to sign the order to change the child support. If this was helpful to you, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe and like and share this so that I can continue to add to my channel here with these types of videos.